My first final is at 10 a.m. and then I have another one at one. I'm a little stressed, but I'm gonna have to pull an all-nighter. So I have to memorize those 92 terms. This is the one that will make me cry. <laughs> Wish me luck, everyone. Hello everyone. Okay, so it's finals week and it's 11 o'clock. I have a fi two finals tomorrow and I have came to the realization that I'm gonna have to pull an all-nighter. So I thought if I'm suffering, I may as well bring you guys along with me because I procrastinated studying and instead I looked at Zillow searching for a dream house that I'll never buy. I am realizing I have made many mistakes, but you know what? We can't take it back. So we're just gonna pull an all-nighter and here I am currently taking a break from studying developmental biology this is the face of someone going through finals and hi I forgot to say my name is Gabrielle Moses <laughs> guys this is gonna be a really long night I'm regretting every single life choice right now I'm looking at a bottle of wine on my counter instead we're gonna open up an energy drink or I'm, I have this tea from earlier today mm, tastes terrible uh, guys, please send good vibes right now because this will get posted still during finals week But I know tonight's just gonna be hard. I, there are tears coming I am fighting them back right now because if I start crying I won't stop and I also know if I start crying my brain is just it's not gonna work If any of you guys are going through finals week right now, do not do what I'm doing Don't do all-nighters do the exact opposite of what I'm doing I think it's because it's my last set of finals and I realized I only need a 75 on one and I think I need like a 79 on the other one. I was like, yeah, I just need that. I'll be fine I don't have to study that much But then in the back of my head now I'm like, oh my gosh, Gabrielle You need to do better than that because I'm doubting myself So I'm gonna stay all up all night and study so come along with me as we struggle <laughs> What have I done? Seriously, guys, pray for me, send good vibes, do anything you want. Okay, I need to start studying, guys. If you want to see a little glimpse, some notes that I just started taking. Actually, no, I didn't just start. I started a few hours ago. Um, reading some old notes, looking through a PowerPoint. <laughs> Goals, my goal is not to cry. <laughs> A few moments later. I realized that I really need some Scooby snacks, you know, <laughs> procrastinating. This is what got me in trouble in the first place, guys. <sighs> Why did I do this to myself? Why did I seriously? I honestly didn't do anything to myself because I don't have to do good on these, but it's me like overthinking that's making me want to do better on these. So I just need to eat these Scooby snacks to get me in a better mood. <laughs> My mom's gonna watch this. My mom watches like all my videos now. She's gonna be mad at me when she sees this, but sorry, mom. <laughs> oh, and just for like perspective, it's currently 11.09. So just watch me as the night progresses. I'm just gonna cry. I'm gonna wanna hide. Why do I do this to myself? We're just gonna take a moment, open up some Scooby snacks. Please be a blue one, please be a blue one. It was a green one. Are you kidding me? There's no blue ones. <laughs> if that's a representation of how my night is going and how finals are gonna be going, that's just gonna be it. I need to start studying again. One eternity later. Okay guys, I might actually be getting sleep, which oh, I'm so excited because I made a Quizlet, 92 terms. It is 11.35 now. So I have to memorize those 92 terms. And then for my other class, I think I have 210 flashcards that I have to continue going through. So we'll see how it goes, but I can't get distracted now, okay? <laughs> um, guys, so I just calculated like exactly, exactly what I need on my finals to get like A's. So on one of them, I just have to have a 73. And then the other one, I can get a 64.87. So like, why am I doing this to myself? But then at the same time, like, let's be honest. I don't want to like freak myself out and not know stuff on the exam. Also for one of my exams, I, like my last exam, one of them's comprehensive, one of them's not comprehensive. The one that's not comprehensive, it's like a normal test. But the last normal test, I started studying the morning of and I got a 93. So I'm not freaking out. I probably, I don't know what I'm, how long I'm going to study for. I'm a quarter way through my flashcards, so. And it's 12.16. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, everyone, it's 1.30 in the morning right now. I'm not sleepy like 
at all and I get really bad test anxiety the night before. So I know if I like tried to fall asleep right now, I would just be sitting in bed getting more anxious. So I'm just gonna continue studying. I'm on my second exam right now. So I'm done with studying for my developmental biology, which was the easy one. I always save the hardest one for the last, which is advanced human physiology too. I'm not worried about this one though because it's mostly multiple choice and a few short answer. It'll be fine. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to try and go to sleep by like three and then probably wake up at like eight this tomorrow morning. I'm going to keep vlogging tomorrow and then after my exam to let you guys know how I think I did and all of that good stuff. But yeah, I am now about to study Quizlets, more and more Quizlets. So let's see how many I have. Oh, I only have 93. I have a 93 flashcard Quizlet for my first part of the exam and then one with 76 terms. Okay, this is very doable. I'm not worried about this. But this is when I start crying because human physiology is really, really hard and difficult. But yeah, this one I have to get a 64 on. The other one I have to get, I, at first I thought it was like a 73 that I had to get on it, but I only have to get a 68. But if I wanna stay at like a A minus in this class, I think I have to do a little bit better. So the reason why I wanna get like, like make sure I get the grade that I want is because it affects my overall GPA. So if I score lower, if I end up with a B plus. So my school is like the only school where GPA, like a, a is different than an A minus. Most like state schools, an A is a 4.0 and a A minus is a 4.0. But my school is a, since it's like a liberal arts private school, an A is a 4.0 and a A minus, I think it's a 3.8, I believe. And then a B plus is a 3.5, a B is a 3.0. And so that's why I wanna make sure to get like a really good grade on this so then my GPA will stay where it's at because my overall GPA is a 3.9 which is pretty good in college. Hopefully I'll be graduating in the top 10 to 15 percent of my class. I guess we'll see what happens after these exams but I'm gonna start studying for my human physiology. I might start crying because this is the one that gets stressful really really fast. This is the one that will make me cry. <laughs> Wish me luck everyone. I do need sleep. I'm not sleepy right now but I know I need sleep so I'll keep you guys updated. Okay it's 2 a.m. now. I need sleep my brain's not working so what's the point of studying if nothing's actually like getting kept up there i'm like woohoo is anyone home right now um no no one's home because i need sleep i think i'm gonna wake up at like six to study before my finals i'm gonna go to sleep but i'll see you guys tomorrow hello everyone okay i just woke up it's 6 30 right now i've been studying for 30 minutes I'm a little stressed. I memorized like the first set of my flashcards, so I only have like the second set to do. We're chilling. My first final is at 10 a.m. and then I have another one at one, so. Hello, okay, it's 9 a.m. now. I have my first final in an hour and 20-ish minutes, close enough to that. So I'm gonna look over that stuff again. I'm not really worried about my first final. It's my second final that's gonna be a little bit more rough, but you know what? I haven't cried yet, and so no matter what, that's a win on me. I also got some Starbucks too. You know, a classic little pink drink just to scrumptedly dumb while I, what the heck, just to drink whenever I'm like studying and stuff, but mm -mm -mm. she's yummy. But yeah, developmental biology is first. I'm in a study room right now. This is what college is like. They have lots of study rooms everywhere. Um, my science building. Let me just show you a little sneak peek of a college tour. I'll probably film that in like two days, so you guys will see that kind of soon, but this is a sneak peek of the science building. Really fun, beautiful, <laughs> very old. <laughs> it is time to take my very first exam. I'm feeling good about it though, so it's all good. We're just gonna take some deep breaths, not freak out. Everything's gonna be fine. I also finished my entire pink drink, so hopefully I don't have to pee in the middle of my exam. But yeah, I also found out that I did really good on my last biochem exam, so now I don't have to worry about my biochem exam grade as much. And then I also calculated what I need on my Spanish exam to have an A, and I just need a 58% for a solid A. If I want an A minus, I could literally get like a 30. So <gasps> we love that, but okay, send good vibes. Gabrielle, you got this. Don't freak out. 
anyone else taking finals, don't freak out. If you start freaking out, then your brain shuts off and then it just stops working and then you just do terrible on your finals. But it's okay, you guys got this, I got this. We're, we're all in this together. Yeah, you know that one? <laughs> <laughs> that went just fantastic. I got done in like 30 minutes. As you can tell, I was thinking very hard. Whenever I think really hard, my cheeks get really rosy. But no, it went swell. I think I only missed maybe a part of a five point question because I didn't know all of it. But that went well. This next exam though is gonna be rough. I have two hours till that one starts and I've just accepted that one's not gonna go well. But that's okay, I don't have to do amazing on this one. And that's the nice thing, if you're not in college yet or if you're in high school or if you are in college, work hard throughout the semester so then with finals, it won't make or break your like final grade. You'll just kind of stay at the same thing. Like I have an A right now or an A minus in my next class and I literally just have to get a 64 on this exam to keep a good grade so if i want to move down to a b i can literally get like a 50 percent on this exam and have a b so that's nice but i'm gonna start studying i brought myself some snackies we have some cinnamon toast crunch but this isn't just the normal cinnamon toast crunch this is the dolce de leche or something i don't know it has caramel flavoring and i also brought skinny pop and then my favorite Go go squeeze! <laughs> I always have one of these whenever I'm studying. And I also always chew gum. Probably not gonna eat. I'm really not that hungry since I drink all that Starbucks and then I also had breakfast from Starbucks. You gotta treat yourself whenever you're in finals because if you're hungry, your brain won't work. If you're stressed, your brain won't work. If you're emotional, your brain won't work. So you just have to treat yourself very well, you know? I'm not ready for this next exam. I've already accepted. It's gonna be hard. I'm gonna wanna cry afterwards. But you know what? After that exam, I'm not gonna study tonight for my next two exams. I'm gonna start studying Tuesday. So today's Monday. I'll start studying Tuesday for my next exams. So guys, just send your girl some good vibes. I'm operating on less than four hours of sleep because I laid in bed for like 30 minutes not being able to sleep because I was like, Gabrielle, you should have studied more, but like, did I really have to study more? I don't know. But it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'm just telling myself it's gonna be fine because I have to convince myself of it. Well, you know how I told you that something was bound to go wrong and that I was gonna have a mental breakdown? Yeah, well that happened because I forgot all of my exam notes for my second exam back at my apartment. And so right after I filmed that previous clip that you guys just saw, I realized that I didn't have any of that and I only had like an hour and a half till my next exam. So I ran my butt home to grab my notes so that I could just like glance at them for like a second. And then I took my exam. It took an hour and a half for that one. This one was a lot harder. It made me want to cry on the inside, but all I had to do was get a 63. I'm pretty sure I got at least a 63. I hope I got a 63, but it went well overall. It could have gone like a lot, a lot worse. I think this morning's one, I know I did good. This one, I'm pretty sure I got above a 63, so I'm not that worried about it. Yeah, first day of finals is now done. I'm gonna go grab some food and then I'm gonna chat with you guys about like studying and everything and all the crazy stuff, but my stomach is so hungry. I've only had Starbucks today and my egg bites. <gasps> Your girl needs food. I didn't even have time to eat my snackies. Oh my gosh, Luke just made fun of me for how weird this hat looks on me, but I swear in person, it's not as like awkward. It's normal, it's a normal size, but when I go like this, it looks giant. But um, I got lunch, guys. Turkey bacon bravo, broccoli cheddar soup, and a cookie just to celebrate me getting done with two finals. Only three more to go. <laughs> I may have fallen asleep, guys. I told myself I was gonna close my eyes for a little bit because it was getting to the point where my eyes were like closing by themselves. And I was like, Gabrielle, you need sleep. So I gave myself a nap and it's nine o'clock now the next night. I'm not studying tonight. I told myself, night off, Gab. You don't have any more exams till Thursday. So if you guys are watching this, it's supposed to go up on Tuesday. So, hi from the night before. I'm so happy my exams went well. I got back one of my exam scores. We did good, ladies and gentlemen. 91 on one of them. That's all I needed. I mean, I was aiming for a 68, but I'll take a 91. But yes, I cannot believe my college experience is almost 
over. I just turned in a final paper because I had to like turn something in for a class. It was like a capstone class, but it's done. It's finalized. I have two more exams left and then we're free. So excited. And I have some exciting stuff coming up. Hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna film a college tour too. So that'll be up very, very soon. But the theme of this week's videos is just me graduating, cause it's happening. We can't stop it. So we can't be scared of it. I'm scared, but it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna pretend like everything is okay. But yes, I'll be graduating Saturday. I didn't drop out, yay, my mom's proud. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll be vlogging that. I'll be vlogging my graduation party. All that fun stuff, all the prep for it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do not take after me. Please do not stay up the night before really late and study for your exams unless you know you don't have to do good. Do what I say and not what I do. I was gonna tell you guys like a bunch of like study tips and whatnot. If you guys still want that, let me know down below in the comments. Got distracted and took a nap instead. You know what, sometimes it happens. I ate my Panera, which was really yummy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.